Alright guys, welcome back oh. to our show. You getting spooted on. Or I'm just gonna fucking run around in this building for uh, 15 minutes and shoot yeah. at dinosaurs, I guess. So what the fuck else do I have to do on a Saturday? Spoot on somebody? <laughs> 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 oh. That's, that's not what we say here. You know, actually, no, this is the perfect platform to say this. Yeah. So, so... Uh, I can't even think of that word without laughing at it. <laughs> spoot. Spoot. <laughs> oh, good. A better way to spend a Saturday evening than spooting with your buddies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Give me, give me the night vision batteries. What the hell? <laughs> oh, God. That's another thing that I thought was cool in the movie. When they put on those goggles that they had in the, the Jeep. Yeah. I was like, man, I want those fucking goggles. Dude, everybody wanted night vision goggles back then. And then you watch Yu-Gi-Oh! And your body wants the dual disc. Yeah. You get a dual disc, but it didn't do what a dual disc do. Wait, dual disc? You talking about one of those, like, blade things on your arm? Yeah. Yeah, man, the real ones don't send people to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> <laughs> was that a chalkboard? If only. I guess. I always did want one of those, like, wow. big fucking pyramid pendant things that Yugi has. I'm convinced that we are, oh, we shit. have the technology to have holographic Yu-Gi-Oh dueling Yeah, we absolutely arenas. do. Yeah, where the fuck is that shit at? It's called augmented reality, and it could easily be done. Oh my god, why is there a VR Yu-Gi-Oh game where you do that? That would be pretty dope. That would be so cool. You, all you what is this Mr. Konami, Mr. Konami, please. All you'd have to do, and it's... It, that's the thing, because well, I had a buddy of mine that I've been talking to about, like, helping him develop an augmented reality game. Because um, apparently that's kind of where the market's starting to go in games, or at least casual gaming. And they have, and he showed me this, there's like, there's like Dungeons and, or not Dungeons and Dragons, Magic the Gathering. They've made a uh, program, or they made a game that basically causes the like monsters and shit to come out of the cards and like fight on top of the cards, and you just look at it through your phone or like your tablet. And that's the coolest shit ever. Man, I just want Ellie Sattler's ID card. No, you're, you're not getting that today. This is the most stressed out that I've been all day. I really need someone to help me pop my ears. I, Guys, what? how do I do this? Skibidi pop pop! <laughs> I don't think that worked. <laughs> also, my fuck? voice mildly did a Seth Rogen. Uh, I don't think that worked. Fuck. A little more Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? Oh, mm. God. Oh, I God. can think of a couple. Alright, now you just sound like uh, Man, where am I supposed to go? What the fuck is the name? Everybody loves Raymond. So we've confirmed that Raymond, Kermit, Kermit and Seth Rogen are the same people. Yes. Pretty much. Kermit is basically... Like, that's who he is, and then... Basically, Raymond and Seth Rogen what? are vessels that he uses to pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Like the alien in yeah, the little dude. robot Fuck. dude, men in right, black. I got out. Exactly. Dude. You just pop their head off, and there's Kermit. So. Damn I, it. My logic is sound. Don't question me, dude. Oh, no. No. I, Wasn't there a, supposed, a computer you're supposed to turn on in there? Or something? Yeah. But I I got to like the control room or whatever, and it's like, oh, you need such and such as ID card to get through here. Don't we have all four fucking IDs? Well, we don't have Samuel L. Jackson's. We don't have uh, Ellie Sattler's. Is the one that I need he now. He wasn't in here. Yeah, it was. Samuel L. Jackson? Yeah. What the? Uh, where? He was one of the computer boys. Oh, are you serious? He has a cigarette in his mouth. Yeah. All the time. Oh shit! He had his arm ripped off. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I want to go see Captain Marvel. Speaking of Samuel L. Jack, I'm actually gonna get his uh, removed arm. What's that letter R? I don't know. Removed arm? When, Samuel, Yo, what the fuck are you talking about? when they figure out that Samuel L. Jackson's character is dead, his arm just like falls on them when they're doing something. I don't remember. In I don't this? Really. No, in the movie. Well, yeah. You know, I, 
That's the what I meant, Jurassic Park. Okay. Yeah, Jurassic Park. I was like, did you just say you're getting Samuel L. Jackson's severed arm? I still thought you were talking about Captain Marvel. Oh. I thought he was talking about what? somehow getting Samuel L. Jackson's severed arm. It's like, who the fuck's severing it? Why is this happening? Well, my, I am. It's just not his actual arm. It's his Jurassic Park arm. <laughs> oh. I was going to say, hold on to your butts. So you are getting Samuel L. Jackson's arm. Yes. When? I don't know. I want it. I'm on tattoo hiatus for now. So. Wait. Wait, you're oh, you're getting it as a tattoo? Yeah, what do you think I'm in? I thought you were just like getting a prop. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> like are you getting a prop from a movie? God damn it, Dylan. That would be really cool, but I'm so so you're gonna get a you're gonna get Samuel L. Jackson's arm tattooed on your body. Yes. And it's gonna say, hold on to your butts. It's a Jurassic Park tribute. That's the craziest tribute I've ever heard of in my life. <sighs> I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Just gonna yell, but I don't have the energy for it today. We need to see that anger. It's hard to think of a Jurassic Park tattoo that's not the fucking logo or Ian Malcolm's face. Just get a raptor face and make it say clever girl underneath. You know, that's actually some I've some have seen someone get that before, so. Well, it's it's also a title of an album, maybe? Or no, a, a band song. Or something. Yeah, it's from Oh god, now I'm gonna look up the band. It's a really good band too. From Jurassic Park. Well yeah. Oh shit. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna look this That's up. like the first egg we ever saw. Yeah, I need to go in there and get that after I'm done up here, because I think there's another one. Oh, yeah. The, the artist's name is Clever what? Girl. Um, is it metal? <sighs> no. No, it's like... Then it's nothing. Damn. Metal is the only genre that matters. It's the only genre, period. They're about on the same, like, level as, like, Totoro and Floral and Standards and all those, like, okay. math, rock. math rock bands. Which they're still good. I like that more math rock is starting to have a little more trumpet action in it. I enjoy trumpets. Ugh. So it's math ska. Shut up. Fucking hate ska. <laughs> Just don't don't judge me, okay? Ooh. Ooh. As a matter of fact, I can't think of a genre of music that I like less. <laughs> I never actually listened to ska. I mean, I know some ska songs from like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I think that's the only ska songs I know are from video games. Yeah, because ska doesn't really exist well, anymore. There's no doubt. They're like kind of ska-ish. Ska I mean, they're as ska as Green Day is punk, you know? Yeah. Or just like how Fall Out Boy is punk. Please or just emo. let me have this egg! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my turn. Time to waste more this, bolas. Yeah, it's wrapped all the way around my mic stand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even yeah. fucking. <laughs> just my fingers slipped. <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna all look right. up some literature. Like Moby Dick? Yeah, on this game while you're. Cool. Uh, Where am I going? Uh, dude, I don't. There's a fucking ah. egg to the right, and I've been trying this whole time to get it, and I just can't. Well, let go my ego, dude. Ooh. Oh, fuck you, man. Actually, like waffles or pancakes sounds so good right now. Yeah. Oh my god. Don't do that shit to me today. I think waffles. I haven't had. I've, I've had pig. I've had pancakes too much in my life. Do the quills and uh, the firehouse quills? They yeah. have fuck churro you. waffles. What? And it's. Stop wasting it on that little guy. There. But anyway, that's fucking, it's fantastic. It's so good. Dude, I've never even had a churro, like a real life churro. Dude, when we went to Disneyland, I fucking slammed down some churros. <laughs> I like, ate like five in that day. What would you describe the texture as? I don't know, I mean, it's just like a... Is it crunchy? Is it soft crunchy? Is it like... It's ooh, no. I mean, it's soft. Is it crunchy or soft crunchy? What well, you know what I mean <laughs> when I say that? Like it's got a crispy outer edge, but like real soft inside. It's kind of. I mean, the cinnamon sugar makes it open. Like, cinnamon sugar is the only crunchy part of it. Okay. 
but the, the piece itself is soft, so you get a little soft and a little crunch. Which is nice. Uh, fuck you and your fucking drop kicking ways. Who taught you this? Oh my god, what is fucking what Taekwondo Dino? I was trying to think of Chuck Norris's name and I just kept thinking Chuck Berry and it was making me mad. Uh Norchuk. But because I was gonna make a pun out of Chuck Norris and Dinosaur, but it didn't work out, so. Uh, I'm just gonna Chuck Norris ain't even relevant anymore. In fact, how is he doing these days? I'm worried about him. Who? I wouldn't. Chuck Norris. Oh. How is yeah, he I these days? Know. Dude, I just totally. Like, when you asked that, I just totally forgot what the hell we were talking about. So, Man, I was just like, don't what? you love how brains work? We missed a utility shed earlier. What does Chuck we, Norris do? Where we could have got Dennis know. Nedry's ID. He's not relevant anymore. He just is probably old, and people probably think he can't get his ass kicked, but he probably probably can. He was in, like, The Expendables 2 or 3 or whatever. Yeah. That's, like, the last thing he did, to my knowledge. Yeah. He still looks just as young as he did before in he's, Texas Ranger. You right. don't want that shit. Put that back. Oh, okay. He's, like, completely, like... Well, I'm not going to say completely non-violent. Or am I thinking of Mr. T? I don't know. Both of them are like, we don't want to do violent shit. Or, like, influence kids to be violent. Man, that's stupid. <laughs> other, they're just going to keep putting out other action movies that aren't going to influence anybody in any way. Yep. Look out, because Jason Statham's going to do it. I hate him. I hate Jason, Jason Statham. I actually hate most action movies. I'm terrible. Judge me. I, I wasn't listening to anything you guys were talking about. Fuck you! I mean... Action movies are all kind of the same thing. They are. They absolutely are. But I don't... I mean... I don't... They don't really make action movies that often anymore. No, they don't. I mean, unless it's tied to a comic or book franchise. John Wick's been the only, like, relevant action movie. And that's based on... That, isn't that a comic series or some shit? I have no idea. John Wick is something. I don't know. Everybody's been talking good shit about it, but I'm just like, eh. I've never seen it. I really want to. I just... Yeah, I haven't seen it either. Guys, where am I going? Well, and then there's Fast and Furious, which... Those are stupid. Yeah, they're... They're doing That's something like that. Where am I going, Chris? Well... Uh, do you remember that first little area that we went to where the Triceratops was? Yeah. Oh god. There's a utility shed around there somewhere that oh, we apparently man. just straight up overlooked. Oh god, I am I have no idea where that is. Down left. That sounds right. And you just fucking bullet a beetle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you need to cross that river. New. That's like if there's a fly in your house and you whip out the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? They had they made a um, a shotgun for insects. Did that? D yes, they did. It's assault shotgun. Oh yeah, it's called I've, the bug assault. I've seen that. It's it's <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's funnier when you think about it, because all it is is it's a shotgun that just like shoots out salt real fast, but like to a bug, that's like a shotgun bullet passing. Them. Man, that's so. All like, you do is just shoot a little bit of salt, and they just die. My friends and I used to take airsoft guns, and we pump them up, and then uh, blow up wasps with them. We find one sitting on a blade of grass, and just shoot, like we wouldn't have like BBs or pellets or anything in it, we would just shoot the air at them. Damn! And they would just poof, what the fuck? Just explode. It was so cool. It's rad. Alan. 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 Oh. Ellie it... Sattler. You and your fucking ID card. Am I even going the right way? No, but I don't think we've been this way, so whatever. I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna shoot shit. It might be some eggs. Wait, we are near here, I think. I guess to the right. Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god. You need man. to go south through that. the gate. That thing. Here we go. Okay, yeah, here. So, what am I doing? Go south. Soup. I love that jump shot. I wonder if... The song's fucking jamming, dude. How effective it would be to use the bug assault on a slug. 
assault oh, guard, dude. Kills him. It's like that, napalm. Yeah, it's like shotgun napalm. Do you feel a little bit guilty when you salt a slug and then they start to like, they're yeah, sitting kinda. there like, fuck! <laughs> they're just like <laughs> suffering. I don't know, I've got a, a masochist who tortures bugs. Masochist? Wait, is that? That's the sadist. Pretty, yeah. Sadist. Masochist means you like pain. Yeah, masochist would be like being a slug and wanting salt porn on you. <laughs> so anyway, with that note, we're out of time for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Good night.